Some women can be very funny sometimes because I can't really understand the reason why a second wife will be angry that the husband married a third wife. To the extent of taking her life, most often I believe that women are their own problems because I can't understand the reason why a second wife will be jealous that the husband is taking a third wife when the first wife was there and never complained that her husband brought in a second wife now it is your turn and you're complaining you even had the ghost to take your life because the man brought in a third wife. Did you even consider the first wife before accepting the man's and the marriage? Karma is a bitch. Believe you me, karma is a bitch. So whatever goes around comes around. So if a woman thinks she can take over somebody's husband and get away with it, no darling, it doesn't work that way because one day the man will get up and want to marry another wife. So what are you going to do? Like this lady did, she took her life. Is that what you want to do? So if you're a jealous person and you want to keep your man to yourself, don't enter any marriage as a second wife. Hi guys, you're watching M Chicky series. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you're new to this channel, you're welcome on board, fasten your seatbelt, and let's cruise in this gist. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about these ladies when they accept to be a man's second wife, and when the man wants to get a third wife, they get so jealous, they get so angry that some of them might even want to take their life, and some of them, you see them leaving the house. Mm -hmm. So it seems like they don't know that what they did to the first wife we come back to them. What goes around comes around. Kama is a bitch, my dear friends. So this lady, Fatomide Rukayat Muzishola, a very beautiful lady who got married to Mr. Fatomide Abbas Ayubami as a second wife. On Instagram, her name is um, Ajoke Ure Oluwa. Just decided to take her life because her husband was having a naming ceremony with another lady that he got pregnant. And according to the report by Gist Lover, because she's a member of a follower of Gist Lover, um, the man is a chronic womanizer, wife beater, and maltreats this 30 year old lady. So my question is, what did she gain from this marriage? Why did she even enter the marriage in the first place? Why did she accept the man? And now she got two children for the man. She never considered the children. She decided to take her life because the man wanted to bring in a third wife. Or probably the man cheated on her because from this story... The man was having a naming ceremony with another woman that got pregnant for him. So tell me, what has she gained? Instead of her to take care of the kids and forget about the man, she married the man knowing fully well that the man had got a first wife. And if the first wife never complained about her coming in, why should she complain about the third wife coming in? And a polygamist will always remain a polygamist. So for the man that got you as a second wife, you think the man will not get a third wife, you are only lying. It's only time we tell... What made him leave the first wife will also make him to leave the second wife and will also make him to leave the third wife. So sometimes when ladies come to say, oh, I met this guy, he's married, and he said that the wife is giving him some hard time, that he just wants a second wife and he will not marry again. And most especially when the man is rich, you see that most women will flock at him. But the little did they know that, or probably they know, they just want to deceive themselves that the man will not take another wife. But it is a lie. I've seen this happen over and over again. And most often is that the second wife that gets angry, I want to leave the house. I've seen where the woman left the house and um, left the, the man and the family. So I'm like, you go to this man as a second wife, so and you don't want the man to bring in a third wife. What of the first wife that never chased you away? The first wife was there and you joined. Then all of a sudden, because the man wanted to bring in a third wife, you that is the second wife, you became more jealous than the first wife. Really? Are you kidding me? When the first wife is not jealous enough, you see who is the second wife that she tolerated is the one that is carrying the whole anger, the whole jealousy on your head. Babe, calm down. Babe, please calm down. Just stop it. I hope you had it. Just stop it. <laughs> Some people, their sense of entitlement is not here. <laughs> not be here. Or some people can also come up to say that the man lied to them, which is also a possibility. It happens also that a married man will deny that he's never married and lie to a lady to be able to cajole her into marriage. But the thing is this, when you enter the marriage and you find out that the man has already got a wife, why didn't you pack your bags and baggages and leave? Or better still, way after having your first baby, if you're already pregnant, why didn't you leave at that time? Okay, for this lady now, from her name, Rukiyat, it seems that she's a Muslim. So let's say that the husband is a Muslim. She should know that her religion allows a man to marry up to four wives, and he will also take care of them equally. So I don't know what her jealousy is all about. If she knows that she doesn't want to marry a man that has multiple wives, in the first place, she wouldn't have 
marry this man as a second wife. She would have looked for a man that doesn't have any wife and marry the man, that man, a single man, because there are still some Muslims that marry only one wife. So better still, she would have looked for a man like that so that she would know that the man is for her. But for her to get involved with a man as a second wife and allow jealousy to ruin her life, I don't consider it something wise because right now she has two cute sons that she has left in this world without proper guidance. I don't know whether she ever thought about these children before she decided to take her life because at the end of the day, it's the children that will suffer it. This is so heartbreaking and this is the reason why when there's any problem in the marriage, if two of you cannot come together to settle it, instead of one harming the other or one harming him or herself, it's better to go your separate way so that you live for your children, to be there for your children, to be able to take care of your children. Yes, I know that their father is alive, but I don't know this kind of father that has a lot of wives all over the place. I don't know whether he'll be able to even know all his children to be able to take care of them honestly i think women need to think twice before they go into this kind of marriages whereby you're going in as a second wife you have to make sure that you are aware of the consequences and you wholeheartedly accept your position as a second wife and what is going to come after that though it might still be unknown but you have to leave an open mind because if you decide to go the route of taking your life once you're not there, anything can happen and the life moves on. Nobody gives a damn about you. Just look at the tribute Mr. Fatomide Abbas Ayobami wrote for the lady. Rest in peace Fatomide Rukayat Mojisola, my lovely wife. It's painful that the will of Allah is inevitable. You will forever be in my heart. Al Janat is yours. So that's it. That was his tribute. So life moves on without the lady and nobody gives a damn. The world moves on. Next time, he will bring in the third wife. I don't know where the first wife is anyway. So people need to be careful about the choices they make in life, most especially ladies. Before you jump on any offer of marriage, make sure you think through it. Make sure you understand what you're going to face in it. Because I once met a man that had four children and was looking for a second wife. He came up with the stories that the wife was Obanje, the wife was uh, chasing him in the dream with a knife, threatening to harm him. So I now explained to him that it was only a dream that he had. He said, no, that the wife, whenever they had a, a misunderstanding in real life, the woman will pursue him all over the compound using a knife, threatening his life. And at a stage, he reported her to his parents, who invited her and asked her what the problem is. After which, they came to conclusion that she is possessed with evil spirit, and they advised him to look for another woman. But the problem is that the guy has already got four children. How will he do that? So when I asked him, what happened? What, has he not been behaving like this? And the marriage has been going on. What did you do about it when she had the first child? Why did you send her away? He said that he was tolerating her, thinking that the woman would change. And that wasn't even the highlight of the whole story. The man continued looking for a wife. And eventually he got a lawyer that was doing her youth service. And he eventually married this lady traditionally the lady accepted to marry him even with the four children okay so at the end of the day after getting married to him traditionally because they were not allowed to do white wedding the woman the first wife came from nowhere whether the family came and pleaded i wouldn't know the man accepted the wife back and started asking the lady to collect two hundred thousand as a settlement to go and look for another man can you just imagine that so in the first place the man wasn't even sure of what he wanted he was just looking around for who he would put into trouble. And of which he did eventually with this young lady. So tell me now, you want her to leave after barely two months of getting married to her. So why did you marry her in the first place? And now his possessed wife has automatically become normal. He wants to go back to her. And the man continued with the wife. So sometimes you see that some men and women don't even know what they want. They say things not thinking of what will happen the next day, what will happen 10 years' time. So people have to be very careful before they make up their mind. They'll be sure of what they're going to face them. They'll be sure of the consequences. Even though you're not very sure, at least you'll be, you have an idea of what's going to face you in the future. And again, for women, if you know that you are very jealous, that you can't stand polygamy, don't even accept to be a second wife to anybody. Because some people always take it for granted. Because the man said, oh, I'm not going to marry another person after you. You quickly, you are so eager to enter the marriage. Not thinking and asking yourself what happens if eventually brings in another person. What will be your fate so that you'll be more prepared and you'll be ready for any uncertainty, but not to the extent of taking your life. I think it's better for you to leave so that you can be there for your children and take care of your children. Because he who fights today and runs, lives to fight for another day. But he who is battle slain can never rise to fight again. So having said that, ladies choose their battle wisely. I don't see any sense in one taking away her life simply because your husband married another wife. Yeah, I know it can be very painful. 
but that doesn't warrant you taking your life. To me, it's an extreme because you got your children to take care of. Even some people that don't even have children, please save yourself the stress and live quietly because you got some families who will not feel so good if you're no more. So guys, let's be guided and make the right decision. Guys, I'm going to stop here. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I would like to read your submissions on this. Stay healthy and safe and share this video with family and friends if you'd love it. And remember to subscribe to this channel if you've not done already. Also, turn on your notification bell so that you know when I upload a new video. And I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye.